guys, this is Knickknack Sims, and welcome to The Sims 4 Get to Work. I have been planning this for a few days now. I got it uh, on the 2nd, I believe, and I've been working through, you know, trying to upload for you guys. And I had asked for a poll and everything, but I was so excited to play, I couldn't wait for the responses. This is the second time I've tried to uh, upload this. Um, the first time I played it, well, for the upload, it uh, didn't come out very well. So I'm trying it again. And we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm doing it a little different from everyone else that you've been seeing who are doing a, you know, household to show you all four of the new careers. Well, I decided I was just going to go one at a time because it's a little overwhelming. I'm, I'm sitting here watching it and, you know, bouncing back and forth from job to job. It's, it, it's interesting to see, but, uh, I can't focus and figure out what I'm doing, you know, if I have to keep jumping from job to job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with one, and we are going to do the detective career. And our hopeful detective is Miss Luna Delaney. She has just moved to Willow Creek, and she's looking for, of course, a career and detective work as you can tell she's dressed professionally because that's who she is she's a professional lady she's um her aspiration she wants a successful lineage and what way to start a successful lineage than by jumping into the career right and her her trait, she's romantic, she is ambitious, she's squeamish. I picked that because I thought it would be kind of funny, you know, solving crime scenes and she's squeamish. <laughs> and she has gotten the domestic trait from choosing the aspiration of the, the lineage. So, like I said, she's new here and she... She's looking for a place to stay, and she found this quaint little home. It's nothing much. Let me zoom out here for you guys. Ooh, that might be a little too far. But, um, yeah, she found this, this cute little house, and um, it's not, it's not very put together, I guess. It's just a simple little, you know, one bedroom, one bathroom, a small little kitchen, and a, a dining area. So we'll go ahead and, ooh, not that far, we'll go ahead and show you. Let's see, you know, it, it's it's nothing too special. But she is, of course, ambitious, meaning, you know, she wants to <clears throat> get her little promotions and whatnot. And she's planning on adding on to this little little place as she um, gets the money and stuff to do so but um yeah so we'll just we'll just jump on in so first of all we're gonna have her I know it's gonna be a little bit of grinding right now we're just gonna have her skill build for a minute we're gonna have her practice her speech because you know police officers they go and they talk to people and you gotta know how to put 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 your best foot forward and Felinas. not uh, stick your foot Watch in your out. mouth every Watch time you try to talk to people so Dance she's gonna go ahead and, and uh, freshen up on, on, on that Runa. and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going Runa to Thori. Brunch. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Maline Quimba Regiment. Now we're just going to have some scrambled eggs. Bobby Nurks. <laughs> but Narla Deroy. A blish. Another skill uh, that notification is telling you that the uh, online Itch. service is Chima going Ripple. down for me. Gorg. What are you doing? Taranga Yaga Nifi. Okay. 
then she's acquired the crazy uh, skill, which we're looking the for. The Nor of Nergs. Inja. I'm gonna go Inja. ahead and speed that Espa. up. <laughs> Bruna Thori. <laughs> Wibisu. Vira Zat. Gaba Zorful Ooze. <laughs> Galba La. Yatif. Fibwini Datsu. So yes, like I said, I, I tried to Sarsando, upload it once before quick, and Mazi it Kabla. didn't, the, the video kind of wasn't Arf, that great, so Sarsando, quick, I decided <laughs> that I'd redo it Vira because Zat. I wasn't happy with, with the quality. Well, the events that happened, but just the quality, so, uh, yeah, excuse me. Um, Inja, Inja, Bruna, Thori. Anyway, um, how was everybody? How was your Easter? Mine was a gloomy, rainy day, but my little boy had, he had lots of fun with his new little toys. He wore himself out playing with them. Go ahead and go make your eggs. We'll slow that down. There you go. But yeah, like I said, she's new here. And, you know, she needs to get to know people. So after we take care of some things on the home front, we're going to go ahead and go and try to meet some people, find some friends, and... I'm going to play this part until after her <gasps> first day of work so you all can see how it goes. Although I'm sure you guys have all um, seen it before with the other Let's Plays. So Miss Luna, go ahead and eat your eggs. I know you're not very hungry. Alright guys, give me just a moment. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My, uh, well, our roommate came home, so the dogs are barking, and then my mom decided she was gonna call. So I had to listen to her for a minute. But anyway, we're back. She's gonna go ahead and finish her, her breakfast. And would what, and watch the news apparently. All work and no play. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and have her join a crew because I totally forgot we're playing. Let's uh we're playing get to work. Sorry. Um you kinda you know, have to go to work to play get to work. Right? I think so. Yeah, so just set that on the floor. Okay, and we're gonna go with the detective career. <sighs> Excuse me. It says, do you want to be the type of cop who's never really off duty? If so, this job's for you and we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle. Unlock outfits like your police uniform to wear as pajamas, teach your teens a valuable lesson, for that C plus by dressing them in prisoner coveralls and transforming their bedrooms into a virtual jail cell. Complete with prison bar walls and a decorative security camera. As a bonus you can keep an eye on them with your very own one way mirror. I think that is kind of awesome. She will be a cadet. She makes twenty dollars an hour and she will work from eight to five with Saturdays and Sundays off. So good deal. So in order for her to get her promotion, she needs to participate in the work day of the detective twice. So, the last time I played this, you want to make a group meal, we can do that. No, we're not going to go there. The last time I played it, Yeesh. it was awesome. And, um... 
I totally forgot that you need your little fitness skill for your detective. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we are going to bake some brownies. Because brownies. Who doesn't want brownies? And I love that they brought the baking skill. Because there's... Oops, the, the wall's in the way. Luna's newly acquired baking skill will allow her to combine butter, sugar, and other ingredients into tasty bites that please taste buds and what? expand oh, waste oh, lines. Um, I love that they brought the baking skill mm -hmm. back, or in, rather, because... Oh. It's kind of <laughs> interesting the things that you can make. But so far, brownies. Ooh. Because, you know, brownies. Where is my... There it is. That's weird. I found it. <clears throat> so she's going to bake her brownies. And we'll see if that helps with that. I doubt it. It did! Yay! We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put those away. And she wants to cook another meal. We'll worry about that later. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna travel. We're gonna go to the gym. All the way up. We're gonna go ahead and go to the gym and work on her athletic because the way I see it if you're out fighting crime doing what you need to do for the community you need to be fairly decent shape not I don't know and she's romantic apparently she is feeling flirty from whatever she's watching probably romance TV Now we're waiting. So, um, if you guys would like to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys would like to send me some, some sims to add to the town, that would be great. Just, uh, pop them over in the gallery with hashtag knickknack sims and let me know what challenge you would like them to appear in and I will go ahead and pop them around town to give some of some of that viewer flair so we're gonna go ahead and go to the gym and as you all know I have quite a few challenges going quite a few let's plays so it might be kind of cool to see some of all of your sims around town in the let's plays I think it would be cool so this 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 first part is going to be a lot of grinding and uh, it might be a little longer because I want to play until hey look there's people um until after her first day of work so that's what we're gonna do um, I'm gonna go ahead and have her work out on the treadmill and she's flirty from her romantic trait so she's gonna come and she's gonna work out for a little bit Acquire some fitness skills, and apparently, she's chatting with Miss Dina Caliente. My game is is running really slow for some reason. That's so all of the uh, 
things are taking a little longer than they should. Look at you rocking your sunglasses. What the gym. So let's since you're talking to her, you need a friend. So let's brighten her day. I'll ask her about her career. Oh, Ah. And Dina is a culinary at the dish. Who's it? Uh, so. <laughs> and she's also found out that she's active. And now Logan is in the conversation. Well, friendly introduction. Gym trainer, huh? There's some pretty, pretty awesome. Um, Sim now. She has to pay you and she's getting stinky. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this. This, uh, Or not. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and have her... Cool. Use the toilet. Yeah, boy, yeah. Take a shower. While someone's taking a shower. That's, that's awesome. There's Bella Goth. Apparently, she doesn't care that, that this Liberty Lee and she's shouting with her clothes on. I guess that's a way to not have to do laundry. Now what are you doing? I need more, huh? Okay, go ahead and stretch. That's good. Why is everybody showing with their clothes on? I'm gonna push the limits. Okay. See? All work and no play. Fired up. A quick pet talk from a with a physically active sim can put a spring in anyone's step. And smartly decorated. And deep connections. And a whole bunch of showers and stuff. Anyway, she's in a really good mood. 
So we're gonna go ahead and let her do what she needs to do. Lena and Bella. Okay, you can be friends with Bella. Bella. That's fine. Chilobo. No. Vampa Slime. 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 Flesh and interests. Oh, is a secret agent at Sims. Bella, a secret agent? That's kind of interesting, guys. I don't know about you. So we're gonna go home and eat some dinner and go to bed and get ready for her work day which is what I'm actually you know excited to to play so we're gonna come here and we're going to have a garden salad. Keep that trim figure. You don't want to go work out and then eat something really like really heavy. That's not good. That'll make you sick. Ah! Oh! Ah! Voy schmezzle! <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead and speed that up because she is taking forever. Hmm. Oh. Gonna watch some comedy. Clean that up <laughs> and go to sleep. Ah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Stop doing that. Go ahead and clean up your your supper dishes. All right. There we go. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to play as the detective because it's it's kind of awesome to me. When I was a kid, I wanted to I wanted to be a detective. I watched all the the CSI shows. We're gonna eat some more scrambled eggs. Um, I watched all the the CSI and the the Bones and stuff and and that's that's what I wanted to do and I haven't done that yet so I'm gonna live the sims and have my sims live my life for me so she's taking care of her morning routine getting ready for work singing in the shower we're not watching romance. Hop it up, 
but we will work on getting a promotion. So we're going to go ahead and pin that there. Now her little sassy walk, like, yes! Excuse me. So we're gonna watch her and her horrible, horrible breakfast making skills. Splashing it everywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, salt does not fix everything. It really doesn't. There you go. Cooking level two. So you can have something else for supper. Or for breakfast. Or for... And let's see. We'll watch... Watch the news. While you eat. Ebba Wes! Man trip! No work starts in about an hour. Mm. Yes! We're excited! I've never actually seen the screen when you watch the news. But I also figure, being a detective, you're gonna keep up with uh -huh. what's going on, right? Okay. Just go ahead and clean that up. And stop watching the news. Good girl. And there we go. In 20 minutes, we're gonna go and head to work. So I guess you continue to watch the news for a few minutes. 8 to 5. So excited. Oh. And let's see, due to calls, the world is a never ending cesspool of grime and crime and it's time for Luna to take a big bite out of it. Sounds gross. Care to join them, or should they go to work alone? We will go ahead and join her. Now, once we have more members of the family, we'll, we might go ahead and let her go alone unless she a actually has to uh, get a participation thing to um, promote. Which, I have a feeling that's going to be a lot, often. Welcome to the force. It's time to start fighting crime. First things first, use a computer to get a case assignment. So, before we start, we're going to go ahead and look at the building because I like to see the improvement or the the buildings that they've created. So that's the outside. You go down to the upstairs, there's a little workout room and a break area. And there's the holding cells and the reception, the the booking area and computers. 
is quite fancy. So, since nobody's over here, we're gonna go ahead, come over here, and get a case assignment. And let's follow her in. Open. Zoom in. Woo! She's logged in and she's looking for an assignment. Yeah. Assist with a crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes before you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with a crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. So, we're gonna head this way. I love all the detail. I just wish my computer wasn't running so so sloppily. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna travel to the crime scene. Ah, oh, so much better. Where are we at? Okay. Crime scene. At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect, investigate damaged or so stolen objects, and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Okay. So. Uh. <laughs> she hey, we know that person. <laughs> So let's see. We're gonna pause this for a moment. You are not gonna read a book. You need to work. And we met her at the gym. So we're going to take a witness report and try to cheer her up. And then we're going to come out here and take a picture and collect a sample. Take a picture, collect a sample. And we'll go ahead and get that started. Let's see what we can uncover. Dust for fingerprints. And 
Garza, Lula, Lula. Alina. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yoshi Nori. Bullet shows to the Chloe. Oh, it's fine. Uh, 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 and we'll come over here and we'll search for clues. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no. Come search for clues here. Yishla Fainzi. Think so. Ibada wig. Too bad. Cool. Take a picture. Close say though. Hana. And collect that sample. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rank of Lenovo. Now we need to go ahead. Lavar. Ah, Gus McCoy. Choose. Ah, Supta. Collect that sample. Just looks like a whole bunch of trash to me. But we will search for clues over here. Ah, Famouche. You always want to be thorough. Flib. Carbon Batool. Huh? There we go. We'll collect that sample. Oh, so uh, soul. Yes. <laughs> All right. Tripna. That should be enough. <laughs> Come soon. We'll be cleaned up once you leave, and you will be unable to return. Are you sure you want to leave now? So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the station. So now we're we're back at the police station. Now that you've gathered evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use the chemical analyzer and computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. So I suppose she's gonna go ahead and get herself a soda, <laughs> which is fine. And then we're gonna come over here, Ooh. and analyze some evidence. We're gonna analyze some fingerprints. And she's like, nah, I changed my mind about that soda. I want to go and, and check this out first. I'm telling you guys, all work and no play. Let's see her work her magic. And we've acquired the logic skill. We'll allow her to play card games, so on and so forth. Analysis failed. The clue analysis failed to produce any useful information. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna analyze this evidence sample. You'll never get it right 
Well, that. never say never, but you won't always get it right the first time. Look at her go, huh. little smarty. Yes, success. <laughs> nice work. Analyzing evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence for before you can find the suspect. For now, use a computer to file the crime scene evidence so that the senior detective can take over. All right. So let's see. Are there any? Yes, there is. Over here, we are going to file the evidence. Ooh. Now with her needs. Anyway, she's fine. Work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of this case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow, you'll learn about the next steps in a case. For now, take some time to help process criminals here at the station. Alright. What's up, the cool door? Belushi! So now, we need to take mug shots and search criminals and get fingerprints from the criminals, so let's see if there's anybody here for us to do so. Ooh. And there is. Let's see, who do we have? We have Jace Schaefer, Nolan Hinton, Susanna Skelton, Raquel Ricci. So, you look angry. So we're going to go ahead and we are going to search you and fingerprint you and take your mugshot. And she's feeling uncomfortable, up close and personal. Unfortunately, what did it say? Cleanliness uh, isn't a requirement for being a criminal. Barbara Moore. 
I really love the detail that they put into this. Like, I don't even know why. And we're going to go ahead and lock him back in his cell. Mm -hmm. And see, that's exactly why I thought it would be funny. Because it is. Sip Lunice. Loki. Oh, you are a. Dana was too. So we're gonna go ahead and check out Mrs. Skelton. We're gonna search her and fingerprint her and take her mugshot. Because she's another angry looking one. Oh, Poldy Poldy! Pippa Moy! She just passed gas while I'm. Ooh, we found a knife. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> Mommy's recording. Would you like to say hi? Say hi, everybody. <laughs> well, be Sorry, guys, but that would be my. My little boy, uh, he is woken up from his nap, and he wanted to say hi. No, you need to go and hang out with Uncle Mark. So we did all that, and now we need to discuss case theories with a coworker and talk to the chief. So after we lock her back in her cell, we're going to go ahead and discuss case theories with Detective Suzanne Skaggs. The names that these people come up with. Luna's workday will end in one hour. She should wrap it up. Uh, wrap up whatever she's doing each workday can be extended once by clicking on the event timer. Well, I'm not gonna do that because I've had a pretty successful workday. So we're gonna go ahead and discuss our uh, case theories with this this detective. Maybe I guess not. No, this. I don't want to chat with Raquel. I want guys look at this. That face. Whoop. What is she doing? I think she's stretching. I don't know. But it's weird. Okay. So anyway, we're going to go over here and we're going to discuss case theories because I want to know more about being a detective <laughs> and you're going to help me. Alfonso Mapim? Yes. Farini Wakaroo. Alright, how much time do we have left? Twelve minutes. So, I mean, we could try to talk to the chief. Woo!
if I can find the chief. There he is. I found the chief, Dorian Rockwell. And we're gonna go ahead and give him a friendly introduction. Hopefully, we could make it there before the day is over. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Luna did a fantastic job today. There may be a shinier badge in the title in her future. She earned 234 smolens today, which is awesome. We didn't get to talk to the chief, but that is okay. We did everything we needed to do for the day, and I'm very happy with her work. So I think we're gonna do this maybe by generation, or we're, we're gonna do these things slowly. So we made it home, we made the bunnies. And she's very uncomfortable, but that's about to pass. We're gonna go ahead and have her make some grilled cheese. And that's gonna be the end of the part because I think it's gone on long enough. We're just gonna go ahead and get these queued up. For next time, we're gonna watch some comedy. And then we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. So, I hope you enjoyed this part. I know it's a little long, and uh, the first parts are always not very interesting. Because you're getting to know the, the Sims, and getting to know what this playthrough, or this LP, excuse me, is all about. But, needless to say, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please rate, give it a big fat thumbs up, maybe a, a comment, a share, a favorite, that would be awesome. Um, subscribe, please, if you haven't already, and if you have, thank you very much. I appreciate your time, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye!